Hey guys, what is up? My name is Liz and welcome back to my channel. In this week's video, I'm gonna share with you some current home decor trends that you probably may have already been seeing on the internet. So home trend number one would be antique or rustic home decor pieces, such as vessels, wooden bowls, stools, things of that nature. Now, some of you already know I own a home decor vintage shop called Vendy Collections. And by the way, I will be launching the site today at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So two hours right after this video. So if you are interested in seeing all of the gorgeous pieces that I have sourced for collection number five, then make sure that you set your alarms and do not miss this collection because a lot of the pieces that I'm going to be talking about will be found in this collection. You wouldn't even know it, but if you look at a very styled home, a lot of what brings it to life are the accent pieces or the home decor that they've chosen to sort of bring the room to life. And I have to say that a lot of antiques and rustic pieces have really truly been taken over the internet lately. People have been falling in love with like Japan style, with Wabi Sabi, and a lot of these earthenware vessels and pots. And these two pieces, by the way, will be sold on my site today. And so I've been really enamored with a lot of these. Um, I've been seeing just a lot of home pages that I personally follow and a lot of home stylists who are really incorporating antiquity um, old distressed wooden tables and earthen vessels and wooden stools and so these accent pieces really are key players yet still keeping everything soft and neutral but bringing in these weathered pieces that just look rustic and primitive really bring the room to life and I just love it I'm all about it one of the stylists that I follow is a Lena Calderon, she has a beautifully curated um, Instagram page and an immaculate home that she styles to the nines and she's well, well loved and recognized for her very organic, um, simplistic home using lots of vintage, lots of earthenware. And I think that she is probably someone that a lot of people um, look up to for inspiration when they are choosing to decorate their home. They look at the key pieces that she sort of really curates well. And I also want to show you this bowl, the rustic bowl. A lot of ceramics and pottery are well sought after right now. Pottery is in demand so much more this year than I think I've ever seen. I have seen so many people hunting high and low for beautiful, um, pottery preferably the vintage ones because they have patina they have that already weathered worn look to it and um, this bowl will also be offered on the website today really love the inside of how it looks it's so beautiful i do believe that trend number two is DIYing your own artwork. You will see people just making everything and anything on the internet, from Instagram to TikTok to Pinterest, you name it. There are people who have just found themselves as an artist. And you know, if you guys follow me, you already know that that is already part of my channel here. I do lots of DIYs, you guys love them. And I have to say that I even ventured out a little further. I kind of came out of my comfort zone and I started painting and I started really playing with pottery. I never knew how much I loved pottery up until a few months ago. I've been working with clay and there's a few videos on my IGTV. I'll put my Instagram link up here. You guys can check out my IGTV where I have a lot of DIY um, projects on there that you guys will love. No experience necessary. And I have made bowls, I have made candle holders, such as this one. I was inspired by one of the um, Swedish Instagrammers. Um, I follow their page and they do the insanely beautiful DIY crafts. And I just thought this was great. I purchased a little, um, a little metal ring on Amazon. But I mean, guys, you know, something like this, if you were to purchase it at Home Goods, Target, at a store, it's gonna run you about 20, 30, $40 and the whole bag of clay in itself was $13. And I purchased a whole hundred of these little metal um, candle holders, a whole bag of them for $10. 
I spray painted it with that speckled paint and you can paint it any color, of course. But anyway, needless to say that this was one project. Here's a project that you'll find on my IGTV. I did this very cool little Wabi Sabi bowl. I've not had a chance to paint it yet. I did, I do intend to paint it black. Uh, but guys, no level, no high level necessary to learn how to do this. This was super easy. I've even DIY'd some plates. I have seen the most incredible DIYs. If you guys caught my last video, I created a table with my husband. We made two cement cylinders and had a piece of glass cut for it and we made our very own table. So guys, DIY is on the rise. So many people are making their own tables, their own lamps, their own artwork. It has been just a whirlwind of creativity and I am all for it. You guys know I love DIYing and I love seeing all of your DIYs and so I'm adding that to my home decor trend because people are really choosing to make their own home decor versus going out and purchasing it. They figure I can make it and I can make it just as good, so why not? And I really love that. So I'm so, I'm all about people thinking out of the box and using their imagination and really going for it. Another home decor trend that I have been seeing surface is dried floral arrangements and a lot of branches. If you guys have taken notice when people are doing these beautiful rooms, you'll see the vases with these gorgeous huge branches or dried florals or pompous or bunny tails anything that's dried and has muted tones and colors, that is what I am seeing almost everywhere. And I went to New York City a couple weeks ago because my area does not, I don't know why, my area does not sell these branches. This is Curly Willow. So if you are looking for them, that's what it is called. And I purchased two bundles just so that I make sure I, <laughs> I had enough for each vase that I needed. Um, and so these sort of things are very organic and yet they create so much texture and drama in a space. So if you have a very simplistic vase and you wanted to really make it pop, you would put something like this. It just has all of these, you know, curly little tentacles, if you will, just kind of poking out and it creates so much drama. They are absolutely beautiful. I also have this beautiful arrangement that I purchased from an Instagram um, florist who creates these designs using dried flower arrangements. You'll see the pompous grass there, you'll see the bunny tails, and that long, um, that long white thing that looks like a feather is actually a dried bleached palm leaf and it's sort of curled to look like a feather. So the dried florals are muted in tone, they have more texture, they're organic and they're simplistic and that is what's on the rise right now. I am seeing it everywhere, every home stylist that I know, every home decor lover, um, has them filled in their vases and it is definitely something that we are seeing a lot of in this year. So another trend that I have been seeing a lot is wood. Wood has always been around since the beginning of time, but this year in particular, I'm starting to see weathered wood being a highly enamored accent piece to homes. Weathered wood has been very enamored this year, more so than ever. I do believe weathered wood is what everyone is looking for these days, um, especially like these wooden stools. This stool will be listed on my website today at 12 p.m. Um, this is a hand carved antique wooden stool and it is very wabi-sabi in style. So if you love that decor trend, then you will definitely love this. I have this one and one other one that I will be listing today, as well as wood trinket boxes, wooden bowls, and the list goes on and on, but bringing in these touches of wood um, adds warmth and just keeping true to the organicness of that item and mix against beautiful neutral tones. The wood really pops and it's just such a nice sort of combination of the old weathered wood combined with like, let's say a white crisp linen couch. Um, I just think that that contrast is absolutely stunning and we're seeing so much of that right now. If you look across Pinterest, if you look across 
um, any home decor page, you will see these beautiful um, pages. You will see these beautiful styled homes with just organic materials and these beautiful high-end furniture pieces. And that to me really resonates because it's part of my personal style. So another trend that I am currently seeing a lot on the internet is the love for wrought iron. I've been seeing a lot of wrought iron from lighting fixtures to candle holders such as these. Again, these will be um, listed on my website today. I'm also seeing the wrought iron brought in in lighting. I'm seeing wrought iron accent pieces just really elevate a space. The wrought iron pieces, they do add that nice contrast to say an all white room. I've been seeing them all over. Wrought iron candle holders are definitely on the rise right now. The quirkier, the better I believe. Um, I tend to find and love the ones that are bendy and spirally and just crazy looking. And you know, you guys really love them too. So I know for sure that wrought iron pieces, especially in the candle holder department, is definitely a trend for 2021. Another trend that we are currently seeing is the love for lighting fixtures. I have to say, just speaking from personal experience, I have never been one that was all too enthused about a light fixture. I've always just been okay with the mediocre lighting that was in my room or just a basic lamp that you can get at, you know, Target. And it really hit me about a couple years ago to really start looking at lighting in a different way. Lighting, other than giving you the ambiance and you know, a well-lit space. Lighting really is like the bow on the package in your room. With a beautiful chandelier or a light fixture, it really ties the room together. I recently purchased an enormous light fixture. It's called the Vertigo Light Pendant. I will link the company down below. And this lighting is massive. And before it was in my room, the room looked okay. But the minute I added this fixture into the space, it completely transformed my entire room and I can't even imagine what the room would look like without it. I am in love with it. And some people say it looks like a hat. I do agree, it looks like a hat. I love it and guys, it really just fits the room and it really elevates it actually used to have a ceiling fan on there before and I'm kicking myself as to why I waited so long to put a beautiful light fixture on the ceiling. And then you also have table lights and uh, this is where my weakness is. I tend to find the most extraordinary and overly expensive table lamps that I just cannot stop obsessing over. A lot of the ones that I love, luckily for me, are overseas and it would be three months before I would even get them. So that definitely helps to tie me down from buying them. But I can't help but be in love with so many options that we have. And I just think that lighting is really just finish off a room. A beautiful floor lamp can add so much elegance and just so much charm to a space as well as a chandelier or a gorgeous pendant on the ceiling. So I have really been thinking differently about lighting and now I just can't stop thinking about lighting. And I know a lot of you even shared with me the similar obsession that you have with light fixtures and lamps and such and so. So lighting fixtures are definitely on the rise this year for 2021. You'll see so many versions depending on what your personal um, aesthetic is. They are gorgeous, gorgeous options out there. So guys, this is the end of the video. Those were the trends that I have been most seeing, although there are so many other ones. This video would be way too long. I picked the ones that I definitely have been the most enamored by and the ones that I've been seeing the most. And so I hope that you were inspired by this video. I hope that that made you maybe think about your own design. Guys, if you enjoyed this video, make sure that you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. I tend to do a lot of DIY content and thrift with me and haul. So if you enjoy that type of content, then subscribe to this channel. I want to thank you guys so much for watching this week and I'll see you in my next video soon.